Okay, it is six o'clock in the morning, and um, first thing in the morning, what I like to do is make some lemon honey water. And so I use about juice from one lemon, um, and then I fill my 32 ounce glass with about 16 ounces of water. And this is just room temperature, it's not heated. And then I take about a tablespoon of raw honey and I just swirl it in there in time as you keep swirling it will melt and this is how I make my lemon honey water in the morning and I drink 32 ounces of it first thing in the morning after drinking this um, I go ahead and I grab my Femurgy B12 and I take a dropper full of this and yes, that's my cat. Good morning, Lucky. <laughs> but um, I go ahead and I drink one dropper full and I hold it in my mouth for about 15 to 20 seconds, I think. 20 seconds and then I swallow and that's it. Okay, I'm going to not show you my face because I look like crap in the morning, but it's okay. Today I am going to make my husband's lunch and I'll make him breakfast and then sort of kind of just clean up and wash the dishes from last night and get my kitchen ready so that I can make my celery juice and that's kind of like how my morning is and by then it should be a good half an hour to an hour after um, drinking my lemon water and taking my B12 so I'll be ready and prepare to drink my celery juice. Okay, so it is about 8.15, 8.20, and I finally just finished washing all of my celery sticks, and now it's time for me to make my celery juice. And I drink 32 ounces, so that's about two bunches of celery. Um, if you're drinking 16 ounces, then it's one bunch, so. Um, I've worked my way up to 32 ounces because it's good for you. It's super powerful, super cleansing to the liver, builds your hydrochloric acid, and it fights bacteria and viruses. So start off slow because it is a powerful detox and you can have some detox symptoms. So start slow and build your way up and um, 32 ounces is perfectly fine to have. So now that I'm done juicing my celery juice, what I will do is I make a juice of cucumber and pear for my husband. That's what he drinks at the end of the night. And then I'll make a juice made of some baby kale, a bunch of spinach, um, an apple, and a piece of ginger. And this right here is what I sip on throughout the day to get my mineral salts in, um, in a and also some, you know, glucose. But this juice right here, I'll sip throughout the day and that kind of just saves some time. I don't have to worry about getting mineral salts in. I don't have to prepare a salad. I don't have to worry about chopping or dressing it with something. It's just grab and go. So whatever you can do to make it easy makes you stay on course. Okay, it is about 10.30, 10.45, and I am now gonna have my, I guess you can call it my breakfast, and I'm gonna have half of a watermelon, and I'm not really that hungry usually in the morning because those mineral salts um, really keep me satiated from the celery juice, so I usually just have something like this. It's kind of light, and I'm getting my glucose and mineral salts from that, and I'm all set until about lunchtime. So after eating my watermelon for breakfast, I am now gonna take my supplements and I am starting a whole new supplement regimen. I'm changing it all over. After reading the Liver Rescue book, um, I'm making some adjustments and adding some new ones. So. 
I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna take right now. Okay, so the first one is my Ester C. I am now gonna be taking four 500 milligram capsules twice a day. So I'm gonna take four now and four later this evening. And the same with l -Lysine. I am gonna be taking four um, 500 milligram capsules twice a day. I'm gonna take four right now and I'll take the second four later this evening. This sink is a new one for me. It is not as hard on the digestive system or irritate the digestive system like the last one. Um, so this one you can actually take on an empty stomach, I believe it said. So it says to take it um, one dropper full twice a day, 20 seconds under the tongue. You just take it straight or 60 seconds i believe and you just take it straight this one the other one i have to dilute it in water so this one i'm taking one dropper full twice a day that's a new one for me and then i am going to still be taking the five mthf one capsule of that um ashwagandha is a new one for me i am adding one dropper full same with cat's claw it's a new one for me i'm adding one dropper full and um, my nettle, I will be taking, it says two dropper fulls for the day. Normally I take one at night, but um, it says two, so I will probably take two later in the evening when I normally take my lemon balm. But lemon balm, I'm to take two dropper fulls twice a day, and so I'm gonna take two right now and two in the evening. So another thing that I've been adding to my whole regimen is I began rebounding. If you don't know what rebounding is, it's just bouncing on a mini trampoline or a rebounder. And it's really good for your lymphatic system, circulation, getting oxygen in your blood, flushing things out. And so my husband was so kind and got me a rebounder. And so I have been rebounding for about... 20 minutes now i'm trying to work my way up to maybe 30 minutes but i started off at 10 and then worked my way up to 20 right now and that's what i've been doing and it's been helping a lot with the swelling and and it makes me happy it's so fun it, it makes you feel like a child and a kid again but it's a great way to get exercise in especially for those of us who are not well um, you don't actually have to leave your feet doesn't have to leave the mat you can just bounce it's called a healthy bounce and it still does a lot of healthy benefits for the body so i'm gonna go and jump on this now for a good 20 minutes and i'll check back with you once it's time for lunch Okay, I am done rebounding and now it's time to rehydrate my body with some lemon water and then I'm gonna have a smoothie for lunch. So I'll replenish my glucose, mineral salts, and potassium. Let's go make lunch. So for lunch, I'm making a smoothie with one banana, a packet of frozen pitaya or dragon fruit, one teaspoon of Vimergy's barley grass juice powder, I added some fresh papaya, and finally some frozen wild blueberries. I added some water, turned on the blender and blended until smooth. And this was lunch, the medical medium liver rescue smoothie. I was a little cold after drinking my smoothie, so I made a chaga tea using two teaspoons of Vimergy's chaga mushrooms. And then I sweetened it with a little bit of maple syrup. And all you need to do is add some hot water to this and stir. You are done. And if you don't know already, chaga is an excellent source to help strengthen your immune system. For an afternoon snack, I just drank that green juice I made earlier and I had it with a couple of persimmons. Tonight I'm making a soup made with chopped up celery, some chopped up carrots, 
diced onions, sliced burdock root, cubed butternut squash or any winter squash, six cloves of garlic, minced ginger, a whole bunch of cilantro, and about an inch of turmeric. Then I'm gonna add 12 cups of water, bring this to a boil, and let it simmer for a good one to four hours. If you have not tried this liver rescue broth, um, it is absolutely delicious. Even my husband loves it. It is meant to be just a broth, but I eat all the vegetables with it as a hearty soup. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my soup that I made. It's the liver rescue broth, if you are curious, from the liver rescue book, Anthony Williams' new book. Um, and after eating that, I'm going to take my second dose of liquid zinc and my second dose of my ester C, as well as my lysine. And then um, if I get hungry, which I usually do, around like 8, 8.30 tonight, I'll probably have one or two apples. And tonight, alongside of it, I will be making a cup of raspberry leaf tea. Um, and I'm going to be using two tea bags to make one cup because that's what the liver rescue book said to do. So, um, and then before the end of the night, I will be taking my second dose of my lemon balm. And because I didn't take my nettle leaf earlier, I'm gonna be taking my two dropfuls of nettle leaf. And that covers all the supplements. Um, and I know a lot of you have always had questions as far as all my snacks and what do I eat and all the time periods and how do I get it all in? Well, that's what I hope I got to share with you today in this vlog. And, and I also hope that you can see that living this medical medium lifestyle or doing all the protocols isn't as difficult as it may seem. It is something quite doable um, once you get into the rhythm of things. And um, I hope that this makes it a lot easier for you. So until the next video, guys, I'll see you then.